So let's put this. There's only one guy with the. It look. It, that was the head. That was the head. It's just the eye patch doesn't match up, but there's no other eye patches. So four rotations on the year. Uh, oh god, I've just missed that. Right, okay, back around we go. Let's get that back right. Let's change this then. So one, two. Three, four. Let's see if it's that. There we go. One, two, three. One, two. That's it. Thanks. The thing is, it says four extra years out at sea, but then that's not four extra years, is it? That's four changes of the the complete year. So that's what was throwing me. If it just been, I was even trying to count the changes between changes in years between the flipping those dates thinking well one's going to be four more years than the previous change and that's the one we want but no it was far simpler than that and yet at the same time far more complex huh cheers what? i didn't like that i one. was just deep in the mushroom and lava ridden caves under monkey island and now i'm oh no i wonder where that came out not yet no wait this isn't the same this this ain't the same can we go back inside? Uh, must have locked when I came out. We've got a moving rat. The windows are just pasted on. And they're not even straight. Glad you finally made it, kid. What, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Skybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. Is this the secret of Monkey Island? It can't be. The switch is locked. The switch is locked. I presume you want to tell us a story, but I can also tell, just by looking at you, that you're not ready for the likes of us. Hmm. Um, Plunder Bunny? I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. Haha, -ha. see what you did there. Um, I'm gonna look around some more. This is weird. Historic Landmark, the original secret a Pirate Adventure Park. Established 1989 by R. Gilbert. I didn't do anything this time. I was raised. The switch is locked. I'd better get that right. Yeah, I should have suspected Stan's and Tech Nabbit. It's locked. If only there was a key. This key doesn't fit. Hmm. Can I carry it away? Oh, there's a key there. That was disappointingly easy. I wonder what's going on. It wasn't that easy, thank you very much. That's that one. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. <sighs> Dang. Stan makes LeChuck better every time. <coughs> the secret is mine. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. Where, what, I... Where's the game going with this? Where's the game going with this? I'm ready to go. Don't forget to shut off all the lights. It won't let me. Oh, because I didn't... The switch it. is locked. The switch is locked. Do I have to do one in order? The switch is locked. 
Do I have to check something else first? It's empty. Are you sure? It's empty. Good thing the Chuck didn't find the secret first. I don't think it's his size. Each time I come here, Stan really ups the challenge. But it's still LeChuck 0, Guybrush Threepwood 6. Is it? The secret is mine. Is it really about Not the this time, my old nemesis. That all this has just been a ride in the theme park. That it's always been just a game. Is it? Hang on. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. He did give me the keys, didn't he? Do these open? Oh, that's how you unlock them, okay. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this game. This, 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 this is. A wholly unsatisfactory ending if this is it. <laughs> oh no, this is too sad. This I'm ready is... to go. Good. Me too. You've got to be joking. That can't be it. That's... There's got to be something coming next. <laughs> That's how I feel. Dad, that was a silly ending. And it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. It's false. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2. Really silly. That's different. We're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what you really found in the chest. <laughs> I'm expecting more. I've, I've read that somewhere before. The secret is really the friends we made along the way. Did we say that at the start of the game? Or am I thinking of another game? Hmm. The secret was really the friends we made along the way. Stories are mainly the middle part, after all. And that's where most of the good stuff is. That sounds like one of those stupid grown-up answers. Mom! Dad won't tell me what the secret is! Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that one! Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there. Is that, is that just laying the way for another game? Uh, slightly awkward moment. Is... No. That really is. I. Uh, let's just see. Let's see if there's a bit after the credits. Come on. Skip, skip. I've hit pause by accident, but. I don't believe it. Something new has been added to the scrapbook. Hey, want to see my Mighty Pirate scrapbook? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a Mighty Pirate. In the old. Things took an unexpected. There's a lot of this stuff. Serving on the. 
Does this get more paper for the rest of my adventures? There'll be no more adventures with me. I'm not playing, I'm not playing a sequel to this. After that, that was awful. Try Operation Stealth if you can get a copy. What's that? What's Operation Stealth? I've never heard of it. I don't think I've heard of it. That's gonna, that's minimized. James Bond, 007, The Stealth Affair in the United States. An adventure game from Delphine Software. That's from 1990. Oh, okay. Right. That is, um... I've never heard of that one. Never come across that one. Oh, God. What do you guys think of that? As, as, a, as an ending. I feel thoroughly cheated. I feel like there should have been a... A, a, a showdown. I feel like there should have been some some witty duel of words between LeChuck and and Guybrush. That's not left a nice taste in my mouth whatsoever. Amusing but unsatisfying ending. I feel like they cheaped out on the ending. I really feel like the cheat. There should be the. You know, the, the the typical Bond villain type ending where he's got maybe a lane over a boiling pot of lava or something and you've got to rescue her and defeat him and there's some clever thing to do with both of them and there's some interaction and stuff or there's just a sword fighting duel of insults from the previous game or the first game. Anything but that. Uh, I don't know what this game costs actually. I've got it. I did buy it, but it was months ago and I think it's come out on Game Pass since then. It wasn't a whole lot of money. If that was a, if that was like a forty quid game, I would be extremely angered by that. Deadlines. It could be. I mean, that could have been the plan all along. It kind of makes sense because it's it's been set in the amusement park at the beginning. Uh, we can't. There isn't a new game plus, is there? That was the hardcore mode as well. I don't know what the casual mode would be. Interesting that I didn't find all the um, trivia cards in there. I mean, there was stacks more that I must have missed, but I didn't see where they were. They didn't pop up, and they didn't seem to appear if I held down the tab key. So that might be why I didn't find them. I got used to holding down tab to show me interactable objects when I went into an area. So I wasn't clicking on every rock and leaf and, and things in the game. Oh, man. I, I, oh, I just feel totally cheapened by that. A lot of the puzzles in there weren't necessarily satisfying. Some, some were. Some way you worked them out, you thought, oh, okay, that was pretty good. I'm, I, I, I feel good about myself for, for working that one out. Some, like the briefcase full of evidence, that felt quite cheap. That Because uh, I had, I had right-clicked on it at least once to investigate it. I'd handed it to the judge. And apparently it changed after the second time or, the, or after I right-clicked on it after getting it back to then give me another option if I right clicked on it, but I would never have thought of going back to do that because it looked the same and I'd already done that. So that held me up for a while, a long time. Uh, things like that are super annoying. And the humor is nowhere near, it doesn't have the impact of the secret of Monkey Island at all. Maybe because that's because the jokes have been used too many times and that happens in movie sequels, right? They, they use the same gags over and over again, really funny the first time round, less so by the time you got to part six of the franchise. Perhaps, perhaps, but overall, um, and we left the guy hanging over the lava. Yeah, we couldn't get him down. Didn't give me the option I tried. Well, I didn't try very hard, I must admit. And there's a load of objects that we didn't get to use, I wonder if they're just thrown in just to, uh, just to throw you off the scent. Like, I don't remember using the toothbrush for everything, for anything at all. Yeah, okay. I've got to say, disappointed because I wasn't a huge fan of the art style of it, and they've gone and done something different. I mean, it looks nice. In it, it, it looks. If I never played another game of this, I would I wouldn't be bothered. But because I have played the previous games, I think the art style, for all they were older, looked better. Uh, the musical score's good. That's still got the same sort of vibe and beats to it. In fact, a lot of the same music. 
Uh, huh. I do feel if you hadn't played the first game, you wouldn't have got a lot of the gags in this. And a lot of the stuff that the characters came out with, you just think, huh, that doesn't make any sense. But then you should play the first game because it was fantastic. And you should not play this one because it's... It, it was all right, It's just, but it's, it's just the ending. It just feels like it, that has proper spoilt it for us. Um, yeah, thoroughly disappointing. Thoroughly disappointing ending. Cheap ending. I can't think of anything else to say about it, really. Still, it wasn't too long. It was, it was what? It's been about 12 hours? Probably not even that. Or maybe about that. About, about 12 hours of somewhat mildly amusing and entertaining gameplay, but with like a, a real kick in the balls at the end. So uh, we won't be doing any of that again. Just stop that recording over there. And that's an annoying feature that it minimizes every time I click out the game. Let me just change the settings on this because this is in full screen, right? Let me let me come out of that. Is it only going to play in a window? We don't even have borderless window as an option. That that sucks. That absolute wait, hang on a minute. Right. We, we maximize it. I click out, click back in, and out. No, it's not even borderless window. Okay. So put it back to full screen, and it minimizes when you click out. Okay. That's not a major problem, but... <sighs> ah, an annoyance. Text and language. But, uh, we did have subtitles on, didn't we? I hope I had the subtitles on there. The writer's cut, more blather, worse, worse pacing. I wonder what that would have done. Anyway, that is enough. That is enough. Um, I don't think I'll be returning to that, and I don't think I'll play the follow-up. I certainly won't buy the follow-up. They send me a key to play it, I might, or if it comes out on Game Pass, I might, which I pay for anyway. I won't pay extra to get this. Yeah, I think I've got a review to write tomorrow, so we'll be doing that. Anyway, folks, thanks for joining us again today, and thanks for the help, UFO and Ace and uh, everyone in chat, and it's been nice talking about archery and other stuff. It's been nice chatting away again. So I am going to go now. I'm going to review this tomorrow and get the review video up. It won't be long. It's, it's pretty quick to make my mind up on this one. There's not a lot to talk about. So we'll get that, and then uh, we're back on Saturday. I've been thinking of streaming the new Hogwarts game. The, well, the new game. There isn't a previous Hogwarts game as far as I know. Hogwarts Legacy. It looks kind of fun. There's a lot of drama around it uh, because of people using it as a means of, of, of declaring war on JK Rowling and hating anyone who dares stream it, uh, which is a load of nonsense. She had nothing to do with the production of the game as far as I know. But the thing that's putting me off is that I can't find a content creation policy on it from, from Warner Brothers games or from the, um, the the games developers themselves. Which says whether we can uh, like stream it or whether the music's going to be licensed and copyrighted and all the rest. Now, we can obviously stream it, but I don't want to play without the music turned on. And I don't want to get a load of copyright claims when I put it up on YouTube because then I have to mute sections out and I can't mute just the music without muting me. That kind of makes the game pointless to play. And also playing such a game with the music turned off, it's kind of crap, right? So I, I want to play the game because it looks kind of fun and interesting, but I don't want to deal with the bullshit that might come from Warner Brothers Studios or their music licensing department over copyright claims. And that is a thing. Uh, not just in Warner Brothers games, but they often have the mu music licenses to stuff used in lots of other titles that I have had to deal with. And it's, um, does, you don't get into any trouble from it. You either just can't monetize the videos or you have to ask about cutting the music out. So that's putting me off, but uh, otherwise I would kind of like to play Hogwarts Legacy, but I'm not going to shell out 50 quid for a game and then have to play it with the music off or deal with all sorts of other, other shit. So... Uh, if not that, we might stream something else. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go and uh, try and get over my disappointment in this now. So I hope you guys have a good night. And we'll catch you again probably at the weekend. Uh, goodbye for now.